Happy Thursday, my name is Philosophical. I'm saying life doesn't suck, not a popsicle. Yes, indeed, every day has its obstacles. With new opticals, everything is possible. Happy Thursday, my name is Philosophical. I'm saying life doesn't suck, not a popsicle. Yes, indeed, every day has its obstacles. With new opticals, everything is possible. So let's pause and reflect on cause and effect. Let's pause and reflect on cause and effect. So the question I'd like to explore interactively in this video is this concept of cause and effect and what is making our lives go up and down and round and round and um, there's a lot of different perspectives to explore on this topic so I'm just gonna present some of them in this video and I'd love to hear what your thoughts are because I think it's a very fascinating subject to explore um, so science mainstream science um, largely Newtonian science thinks that or presents that the world operates kind of like a clock like Sir Isaac Newton found these basic principles of physics and said that all of reality is operating like a clock and so you could see your the events in your own life as just kind of mechanical um, re following from other mechanical things so it's just like a big game of pool all these balls bouncing off each other there's no real supernatural factors or anything um, and if there is a god or some higher power all they really did was build the clock and then the clock is just unwinding so that would be the cause and effect of your life if you did this then it's because this happened and that happened and it's all kind of moving in a straight line so that's one sort of perspective um, and I'm generalizing um, another one you could say is is more like fate um, we have like a, a set path that is happening and there's nothing we can do about it um, we don't really have free will within that fate it may seem like we do but everything is just kind of predetermined so that's another one and then you could maybe say in between is like this this weird paradox where we have free will but we also have a destiny and so it's like you could see it as the, the path of a leaf that's falling to the ground it's like it's it's obviously has a path and you can decide to kind of sway in a little bit of a direction but mostly this leaf already knows where it's going um, so that's another perspective on cause and effect because um, me in my personal life I I walk around and all this crazy stuff happens to me and I'm just like why is this happening or like what is causing this it seems to me like it's hard for me to grasp like um, like for example I'll, I'll do the same things two days in a row but I'll have completely different results and so in the Newtonian objective science world, you would expect if you do the same thing, you'd get the same results. But for me, it's often just like completely crazy. And some days I'll wake up feeling like crap. Some days I'll feel like I'm on top of the world. And it's like these ups and downs. As I said in the beginning, life has obstacles. I think that's a key thing to realize and accept is that we have these obstacles but that's part of life that's the fun of life um, is all these challenges that allow for just growth and change and evolution um, and so another a few other crazy ideas to throw in this questioning of cause and effect is karma and reincarnation so it's like if you believe in reincarnation then that like throws a whole new ball game <laughs> it's a whole nother ball game because it's like maybe stuff from your past life is affecting this life and maybe all your struggles you can just blame on that um, I think some people might get trapped in that and a lot of people criticize the caste system in India which is like 
you're they believe in the system of reincarnation and so certain people it's like if you had this past life then you have to do this slave work pretty much um so do you believe in reincarnation if so what are the implications of reincarnation um <laughs> and and going along with that this concept of karma of of like this energy that goes with you that um i mean you could say if you build up good karma then you get like girl scout points um and you can build up good karma from a past life or from this life but it's like who the heck knows really how it works it's just i think the key is to just question everything and and decide for ourselves what we feel to be true to direct I, I mostly just try to trust my own experience and then compare it with all these other things. Um, so just to summarize these different topics again, I'd love, I'd love to explore them more. Um, if you friend me on Facebook, facebook.com slash Phil's Ideas, we could have like a discussion on the comments page. You could post videos or links that relate to this topic. Because I think it's a really exciting and important topic and it's like depending on what we believe is causing and affecting our lives, that's how we're going to act. And um, some people believe that there's like mysterious um, Illuminati people determining everything, you know, that's like their cause and effect. It's like, oh, um, and maybe some other people think it's like ghosts or spirits are like messing with them. Um, and then other people believe like, oh, I create my own reality 100% with my subconscious mind, you know. <laughs> so those are some more. So we've got like, I'm just going to categorize randomly or generally. We've got Newtonian science that says everything works like a clock. It's predetermined. Um, we've got kind of the perspective that you have a fate. Um which is sort of tied in and then you've got the free will so complete free will where you create your own reality then you've got in between that you've got paradox of sort of free will but you fall like belief um, and then you can throw in like karma reincarnation maybe our past lives are helping us in this life um, and then we've got like other things to determine cause and effect like supernatural spirits these powers that be uh, and I don't mean to like brush over that because there are definitely crazy corporate schemes that determine so much of our lives and I think we can break out of them totally which is what so many of my other videos are about creating our own culture instead of consuming the dominant culture so check that out too um, but yeah, those are just some of the, the overlying things and I'd love to hear what you have to say. If you want to get a video response, I really would love to see more people getting on YouTube and sharing your ideas. I know you have beautiful ideas and things to say and there are many people that don't have a voice. I feel we need to speak our voice, speak our truth and just get the word out there because we can inspire other people. We can motivate those who are unmotivated we can wake people up we can have fun we can create a new world <laughs> the new world is already being created and that's why i'm so excited so scoobly doobly do i said happy thursday my name is philosophical yes indeed life is full of obstacles but it still doesn't suck no popsicles with new opticals everything is possible yes I uh, thank you for watching check out Facebook Phil philo-osophical.com is in the works I'm gonna make another video about that scoobly do thanks for watching have a beautiful day my friend peace